But um, Ragnarok is Xavier he's, Hayes. A he's bit. actually not the best, though. I yeah, mean, he's Xavier Hayes is very suspect I right now. I may be overestimating him, to be honest. Uh, he did very well against Tarrant in the SSL, but this is a completely different matchup. So, and he did lose to Super before in uh, GSL Code A. So, we we'll, we'll just have to see what happens. Uh, but Ruins of Seraphs is I a mean, very large map. Like we've said before, I mean, in one game, I mean, anything can happen. You can do something crazy. You can cheese him out. But um, very good chance we could go to uh, game number five here as well. Yeah, I have a feeling we're probably going to go to the ace match here today. Uh, CJ against Ooh, Afrika. Oh, the ace match. I love ace matches. When uh, they released, uh, well, when they changed the format in Pro League for ace matches, it got me really wiggly and jiggly because it kind of changed the way that you had to approach uh, Pro League, uh, having the chance to play one of your best, any player that you want, uh, any player that's uh, even played already. So you can play your best player twice. Change the dynamic of Pro League, and I really love what uh, Pro League provides in that ace match. Yeah, uh, we are waiting to go into the next game. I don't believe one of our players has joined the lobby. I'm not sure if there's been a delay, uh, but sit tight. We'll be figuring out what exactly is going on in just a little bit. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm really happy to see the Afrika Freaks playing well, doing a good job. Africa, of course, the host network for the GSL, which I'm sure most of you, if you're watching here now, are familiar with. It's going to be, um, it's really cool to see that they're actually here supporting esports and supporting StarCraft, too. We don't have these tournaments, these uh, programs. Oh, hold on. Looks like we've all predicted we've for all predicted. Ragnarok Twins. <laughs> Poor Bill over here. Well, I mean, I want to I wanna have good results for my predictions. I like looking smart. I like so. having a high percentage of prediction rates. So. We, we're, we're tied for second, right? I think we've had pretty much similar... Oh, no, no. I think you're beating me because you did get that TY solo match. Uh, we'll, we'll have to see. That's tasteless for you, man. you got to watch out. Um, all right. So Ragnarok against Billowy. Now, Billowy, uh, he's not bad. He's just not like a superstar amongst these other players. But Ragnarok, I'd say he's almost in the same tier system. Yeah, we only see we see the record for Ragnarok. Uh, one win and one loss. You have to remember, though, last season, uh, he did join CJ Answers quite late and in the season. We see on the Pentagon graph, Pentagon graph, it's Pentagraft. actually going to be the, the trapezoids here. Yeah. <laughs> They're so low on talent. These past two games have been pretty trapezoidy in terms of uh, their coaches believing uh, in their skill level. I mean, that's pretty rough talent-wise uh, for Billowy, actually. So. Well, I mean, I think, you know, I can appreciate it because it's it's kind of honest. Mm. Um, anyways, it's going to be a, a ZVP here. We already have seen Protosses have a little bit of difficulty now with the patch changes, coping with how Zerg can attack them. Not saying it's imbalanced, not saying it's unfair, just saying... Uh, clearly, uh, with the changes, the uh, race that's been changed the most does have to adapt. Our map is going to be Ruins of Sierra. Saras? Saras. Is that how you say it? Ru say Ruins of Saras? Okay, Ruins I'll say Saras. Saras. Tasteless never learned how to read. Sorry, guys. These maps have wonky names this season. Anyways, this is game number four. Billowy against Ragnarok. Let's go. Let's go. And hopefully this is not our last game today. Hopefully we do go to game number five. Anyways, over here is Ragnarok. And up here is Billowy. So we got vertical spawns here. Wasn't there like a, hold on a second. I'm, I'm having a hard time with this headset. I don't know if like, I don't know if it's the shape of my head. I don't know if my mom dropped me on the head a bunch as a baby and I'm just finding it out now. It keeps popping off. Okay, I think I got it on. Um, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Your thoughts. Um, is Billowy the name of a, of a famous goat? Does that sound familiar? Billowy? No, no I that's... think it's just Billy the Goat. Not Billowy the Goat. Well, there's Billy Goats. Oh, there's Billy Goats, There yes. are Billy Goats. They're not necessarily I, famous I, I, goats. I, I am not a goat I don't know how many expert. celebrity Billy Goats are, but the question I'm asking here, GTR, is... Isn't there, like, the name of a goat named Billowy somewhere, like, in a cartoon or something? Well, I got nerds Googling this right now. Yeah, See I, what I've done here, guys? I've outsourced this. I, I'm not a I've goat. I've outsourced this to you, and you can tweet at me. 
at Call Me Tasteless I am GTR, GTR1H. Let us know if Billowy is indeed a name of a goat that is very famous. I just, I, I seriously, I thought there was like a cartoon I heard at some point in time. I don't know. If not, you know, maybe we can find a goat. We can, you know, name him Billowy. We can make him famous. We can fill this void that hasn't been, you know, you know, set up yet. <laughs> I love I love talking like this GTR because I just look at you and you have no idea how to respond. I mean, well, the thing like, is, you're just like you are crazy and I don't know what to say. And I'm just looking at this and I'm saying the cybernetic score is not done yet and I have nothing else to uh, to say about this. Well, I am gonna admit I am not a goat expert, so I have no idea about. Goats. Oh, I'm not either. If I was, I would have the answer, but you know that's okay. I'm just trying to make you feel as uncomfortable as possible while you're very early on in your uh, esports casting career. Well, well, it's best that I gain this un unfamiliarity, this uncomfort. We're going into uncharted territories yes. um, that might be out of the comfort zone for a lot of other casters. So, we're going with this cybernetics core now. Let's see, is it going to be an adept made right away? Let's see what he decides to do here. He's actually quite short on resources right now. Uh, I think he's saving up for a Stalker, actually. No, he's no, 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 an adept. He's an adept, my bad. As we see Speedlings going down for Ragnarok. And it uh, looks like these Speedlings are going to try and find this probe that was scouting before. Okay. Uh, we have seen Zergs do some aggression early on. I don't know if we're going to see it just here. Uh, in this case, it's going to be three base. Zerg can still be a little bit aggressive on three base, just not as quickly as they could if they were on two base. For the Protoss player, we see a Stargate coming here. Um, the typical build is for them to make an Oracle, and I think we can assume he's going to do that since he made the Stargate in the front. Uh, if they go for Phoenixes, sometimes they hide it to try to surprise the uh, Zerg later on, and obviously it's not well hidden if it's out at the entrance of your base. Uh, something I was going to mention before you before you distracted me about the goat talk was uh, yeah. uh, note that these are uh, vertical spawns. It means that Ragnarok can expand across the map rather than uh, above the map. So uh, especially on a large map like Ruins of Ceres, uh, it's going to be really easy for him to take these bases at the bottom. Yeah, that's true. And uh, you know, with that in mind, uh, GTR, he's expanding away from his opponent, which is something that uh, Zergs would always like to do, ideally. As we see, Phoenix is actually going out instead of that Oracle play from Six Illoui. Sixteen links. I think we're going to see what I we saw. I love it. Game two. Let's do it. But Billowy has prepared appropriately for this. He's getting a lot of adapts. He's getting Phoenixes oh. for this. Oh, get in, 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 Hello, no, 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 get in, get in. Right, you have no more time to waste. Get in the goddamn Overlord. Okay. Okay. Now, he did bait that Phoenix into the upper left. Oh. I'm pretty sure if these uh, were... Dun, dun, dun. He sees it, but will he prepare properly? I'm pretty sure if he did not see the uh, this uh, vertical spawns, he would have not done this strategy. But seeing these spawns, he's taking a book from Gyo. And uh, we'll see how Billy reacts to this. All right, he's coming down now. Now, remember... Uh, you know, Phoenixes are not handy Ooh, against Mass Lakes. Nice In fact, he's there. hitting the entrance here right now. Uh, he, uh, he's spreading uh, uh, Billory really thin right now. He should be sniping that Nexus. Oh, man, Billory is getting Shrek. You're not even going to get to play the game for real, son. Billory has no idea how to counteract this, actually. Oh, got, my God. Like, these Phoenixes are not enough for the amount of Zerglings that are on the map. Oh, he's just going to do uh, He's yeah. just going to drop it yeah, all right here. He's saying, on. let's do this. I think the Phoenixes are going to have to pick up the Queens here. Ooh, I think that was a really bad approach there from Ragnarok though. He picks up those queens, so those queens can't even do anything right now. And the queen oh actually survives. It, oh it actually gets actually... transition up. You know what? The Phoenixes are actually fine against this because it's the queens that are actually helping holding this. I think it's it's, gonna... it's, it's actually a worker's lead, by the way, right now. Uh, poor Protoss. I think Ragnarok just overextended there. He thought he could have taken that game Ragnarok. with uh, the drop on the army, but... Not everybody can do the cheese. No, oh, no. he's going to get this too. Not even all the links come out. That's so good. Yeah, Ragnarok in a really tough position right now. I felt like he should have just stayed in that main base, sniped that Nexus off, and uh, allow, uh, forced Billowy into a really uncomfortable position with that one Nexus, but he got way too greedy there, overextending, trying to finish the game by killing off the army, but looks like Billowy has enough Phoenixes to do a lot of damage, and remember those Queens with that army did get taken out, and uh, these Phoenixes are going to have free reign across the bases of Ragnarok. Okay, um, well, the problem right now is that, oddly enough, Zerg's having to play catch-up. Let's not forget he sent three Queens with that. 
uh, which means there's less anti-air for the Phoenixes, which means this could even snowball uh, for this target. The Phoenixes might be too powerful because the strategy was completely shut down here by Billowy. Yeah, we can see huge supply lead, 72 to 48 in favor of Billowy, and I think it's going to be really hard for Ragnarok to come back into this game, even though he is on free base. Uh, if I look at the work accounts right now, it is 42 pros to 36 drones, and that is not good for the Zerg. No, it is not, GTR. It is not. The Lynx are going to kind of try to come in and counterattack, but they get denied. Yeah, Ragnarok is in a really tough spot right now. I think he can right keep now. incrementing out uh, Phoenixes. I think he will always have just enough energy to keep... He will, oh, I'm sorry, I bumped my mic away. I probably sound like I was across from him. He will always have just enough energy to continue to make Phoenixes and possibly keep picking up Queen. Yeah, right? Yeah. Uh, By the way, he's playing very, very safe here. Yeah, he's taking that like. third base. He's not deciding to push his advantage. Uh, or he is pushing his advantage further by taking another base. Yeah. Um, but he's still harassing with these Phoenixes, which is really cool from Billowy. And he's just, that Phoenix counter is going to keep going further and further um, yeah. increasing. As you can see now, the, um, I mean, the third base, there's no way that Zerg can even attempt to contest this. He's sending down the Adepts right now, which I think is great. I think these, oh, excuse me. I think these Adepts with these Phoenixes are going to do a lot of damage if Billowy does uh, a good job with his control here. As Ragnarok's trying to get Roaches out, but I don't think Rag Roaches are the appropriate counter to this right now. Yeah, look at this. He's got the Adepts over here, and actually the Roaches can be picked up. I think this game is actually about to end. Yeah, I think this is just too many Phoenixes out for uh, Billowy. Oh, excuse me. There's too many Roaches, uh, Phoenixes out for Billowy, and... Uh, these Zerglings yeah. can't do anything, and these Roaches are taking a while to hatch out. Yeah, Ragnaroks, it just didn't work, man. This is when Cheese when cheese goes bad. Yeah. Uh, now he's just Ooh. continuing to, to, to uh, use his Adepts to shade through wherever uh, he can go. Does look like maybe, actually, uh, uh, Ragnarok can, can hold this. Ragnarok can hold this, but Billowy is taking his third quite freely right now, and once that Third look, base. look at how many roaches he's getting for free. Yeah, and these, this is a lot of phoenixes on the map for Billowy right now, and I don't think there's any tangible damage that Ragnarok can do to get back into this game. Yeah, th that's that's the real problem, is that right now, uh, supply-wise and income-wise, it's like Billowy was the Zerg this game. He's going to go for a Hydralis Den. I guess that's nice, but is it going to be enough? Is it going to be enough is the question that we are asking right now is, uh, we see Ragnarok re-droning up. He's actually catching up on a work supply, actually, 63 to 62 in favor of Billowy. But these Phoenixes, they're doing quite a bit of damage. They're picking off as many units as they can. Um, but soon, soon, soon enough, uh, we're going to see Billowy do a huge uh, push with his ground units. Okay, so, um, yeah, the, the, the next phase of the attack is coming here. We're going to have Immortals incorporated into this. He's got a lot of, I mean, I've actually lost count of how much the, these Phoenixes have done damage-wise. It's uh, becoming a little bit ridiculous. The Hydra is coming out, should eventually force them out, but Protoss is going to be gearing up for a serious attack. Yeah, as we see that War Prison being built at the robotics facility for Billowy. The Zergling's trying to get in, but a really nicely plays Zealot there for Billowy, just stopping him from, uh, stopping Ragnarok, rather, from getting to the base and doing further damage. And gateway up in the nick of time. Belt survives as well, and looks like Billowy is just posturing for a big attack here with these Phoenixes and Immortal Adept Army. Okay, so he's going to send the Adepts forward, and then he's going to have the rest of these Immortals and the Sentries come in here. He's going to get right behind and right on top of him, actually, beginning to pick up as many of these Hydras as he possibly can. Looks like this is going to be the final battle for uh, Billowy here as these Phoenixes... Wait, oh, Slash! Oh, that must be an error there from uh, Billowy, but GG! You know what, for just a second, I thought he actually wrote that face. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he's really like, oh no, I accidentally typed Slash. Oh. But um, congratulations to Africa Freaks taking out that uh, series against CJ3-1. Really impressive. Uh, Honestly, though, I think that was more fault of Ragnarok overextending too well, much. You look at Billowy, he's like, I can't believe I won that game. He just held the cheese. Great job there by Billowy. The Africa Freaks have won our second match here tonight. Wow. Um, I still can't get over the fact that uh, Ragnarok, he had that game. There was no doubt about it. If he just sat 
at the main base, uh, just set, uh, set there with those Queens and Zerglings. Off no, no, you know what? I don't know. I don't think so, actually, when I look at it. I mean, initially I was thinking, oh, this wouldn't be as effective, but I think because he had enough Adepts, I think if he just picks up the Queens, he actually wins. So you think that uh, that attack there from so. Ragnarok just failed in general, regardless of the outcome of what he did? I do, I do. I'm not sure if that uh, is effective. Now, wait, what, what was the tech for the, the last game we saw where that happened, where it was Biel did it? Uh, what, what was what was the tech for Protoss? I, I don't know why I can't remember this. I, I just casted this like an hour ago. I think he got an Oracle instead of the Phoenix first. He got an Oracle. Now, I thought the Oracle would be better, but then then I think about it in retrospect, and I'm totally wrong because three queens would gun down the Oracle, right? But the Phoenix can lift up those the Phoenix, queens. Yeah, there's enough Phoenixes, they can lift up the queens and remove them, and then the Adepts can actually do damage, whereas the Oracle can't really directly engage the queens. So I think that actually handles that perfectly. Also, there's a debate about, you know, where do the Lings get in and, and what are they attacking? Maybe it's better to split it. He decided to attack everything at once. Maybe it would have been, maybe if he stayed in the main, it would have been a different story, but just looking at how one-sided the hold was for that, and the fact that that's three less queens. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm, my voice is already getting hoarse here on day number two. That's three less queens um, back in your three bases. Mm. So then the phoenixes come down, and I mean, it wasn't even just the hold that was scary, it was the counterattack with the phoenixes. There were queens attempting to be pumped out, not just for larva and Jax, but also uh, as anti-air. And he just managed to pick up with each of those queens. The phoenixes, he guns him down. There you go. Well, if Billowy is indeed the MVP for like, uh, this game between CJ and Afrika, I'm really curious to see what he has to say about that game. But we see the results of today. CJ enters surprisingly. By the way, we were wrong. We lost, yeah. on, we lost on that prediction. Yeah, so. I'm fine with it, though. Yeah, so it's good to see Afrika taking out their first win of the season. Uh, the dynamic of Pro League is going to be really interesting, especially with a strong team like CJ being at the bottom of the table. Wow.